Hello everyone. I hope you all are well. Today in this video I'm going to show you how can you connect your multiple domains to one web hosting. Now I'm going to open my domain. I have a domain that I buy from Namecheap but if your domain is registered from another domain provider then also this tutorial will work perfectly. Now I'm going to the domain list and click to manage. So you can see domain list here. And you can see manage option over there. Just click here. Now we have to find out name servers. Let's just scroll down here. Now we can see here name to basic DNS. Just click here and select custom DNS. Now you can see the name server 1 and name server 2 and just we have to put our web hosting DNS server here. Just we have to find out our name servers of hosting. I'm using inter server hosting. Now I will go to inter server and you can see web hosting here. We'll just click here. And we have to click here settings. Now you can see there is a default DNS server here and this will this is will be DNS server 1 and this will be 2. Just copy from here and we have to paste here. Now we have to save here. You can see this is already start. Now we have to log in cPanel. I will go to my cPanel. Now we can see our cPanel here and we have to set up our domain to link for a link here. Just click domain setup. And you can see I have already connected to my uh, domains. There is my two domains are connected already in this web hosting. Now, if we wanna add a new domain here, just click add new here. And you can see domain here, we have to put our domain name here. Just we will use our this domain. Just paste it here and we have to put www. Okay, now you can see there is no create option here, over here. We have to use our simple trick. Okay, now we will create this domain. Now you can see our domain created successfully. And you can see our domain already show here. And uh, we have to wait some time because we are, uh, we are using custom domain DNS server here. And we have to wait for some hour or some minutes or one day because we use our custom name server here. Okay, now we will uh, use our WordPress in this domain. We have to go to our cPanel here and we will install WordPress. Just we have to find out our WordPress here. Click WordPress. Now we have to choose our hosting here. Just you can see our domain is uh, showing another because our domain is linked already is this uh, domain. Now we have to install our WordPress on our new domain. Just we have to follow the rules here. Just you can see we have to click install here. Now we have to remove this WP and you can see our domain already selected here. And you can use uh, your admin username and password. You can use your own. I will not change anything here. Now we have to click install here. Just to wait for some time.
okay now you can see congratulations the software was installed successfully now you can see our wordpress is already installed in this domain but we have to wait maybe some time for okay now we will click this now you can see this site can't be reached because we use this custom name server here and it will take for time it can be up to 24 hour or 48 hour to migrate with this hosting now we can see our domain is already connected to my hosting now if we check our hosting you can see now you can see our domain is already connected to our hosting cpanel here and if we refresh our domain again you can see this is already loading and it's already successful we installed wordpress on this domain for now today we have done it successfully if you like this video then please do subscribe to my channel and share to your friends thank you